hi everybody welcome back to my channel please don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so that you can have uh, updates whenever I upload a new video so today we're going to be looking at eyes just how to do our eyes it's very easy it's very simple we're not going to be using bright colors we just want to get the technique right so we're going to start with very soft colors soft natural colors just to get the technique right let's start okay so I'm going to be using this palette by MAC. These are the colors that we're going to be using. Okay, so what I'm going to put on my face, I'm going to use this as my shining color. You'll see when I use it. This will be my darkest color. This is going to be my base color. So the base color is the color that we base the whole eye with. Remember, we're using natural colors, so I'm not going to do reds. I'm not going to do lots of shimmer. I just want the shimmer there so that it can look like my eye has got that opening. Okay, so let's start. Okay, don't forget, whatever I do uh, before I put a color on my face, is do this. Just so to get the excess product off. And don't forget, we're doing the whole eye. So this is our base color. So we're going to base our eye, the whole of the eye with this color. How you want the shape to be like is completely dependent on you. I prefer to have my eye with the V shape. I don't know why. I just like it. But um, some people make it oval. So today I'm just going to do the, the V shape. You have to put it until you are satisfied with the color and that's just all you have to do okay I can see the color like I said I'm going natural so this is fine I don't want it too dark because too dark is not rich natural anymore so that's our base color now we're gonna go to the sparkle that I said I wanted, I'm going to use another different color brush. Another brush for this color, I mean, sorry. Don't forget, I'm now using this color. This one. Just with a bit of sparkle and a bit of life onto my eye. Guys, here's the truth. You're going to make a mess. And that's okay. I promise you, it is not the end of the world. Not unless you want it to be. Okay, now, my shimmering color. I like to drag it a bit. So here's a, I'm just going to go here. I'm not putting on another color on the brush. I'm just using the same brush and I drag it there. Just underneath, just on top of that crease there, my natural crease now. So I drag it like that. Here's the thing about colors, guys. Or doing your eyes nicely. You need to blend. So the most important thing about your eyes is just not to put it on there and let it sit. You need to blend it out and make it look like it is together. For an example, you can see on this eye here, that's where my blending starts. Can you see here, this side, it's got that line that makes it look like it's slanting out. This side, that line is shorter. We need to make that even at all times. So here's what we do. You blend Look at how I'm blending. I'm bringing it this side. Remember the side I said it's a bit more? So I'm bringing it in. Bring it in the side. This side, I said it's a bit far. So I drag it out. I'm dragging it out. Okay? Still looks a bit further this side than it is this side. So I'm going to drag it again.
And I'm going to blend the side as well. You have to decide what you want your eyes to look like. There shouldn't be lines unless you want your makeup, you want it to have lines, then by all means you can do your lines. But it looks even now. I'm not sure if you can see it. For me, I am fine with it. Okay, let me just do this here. And you can see that here, I need to clean this up a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. But this blending is fine. However, we still have color number three to add on our eyes to give our eyes that juge look. So here's how I do it. Because I love my V on my eyes, this is what I do. I'm going to use an eyeliner, okay? We're going to use the dark brown. Remember the last color that we're going to use is the dark brown. We're using three color. We had a base color. We had the shimmer, which is for this part of the eyes. And now with the dark color, is this part of the eyes. So I'm going to use a pencil that looks like that color. The pencil is to make sure that everything I'm doing is even. In the same motion, that's what you do. And then I'm going to write just above my crease and bring it down here. Okay, now I have to make sure this is looks it looks the same on both eyes. You can also do this with a powder. I'll show you when I fill it in. So there we go. I prefer using this brush. It's the slanting brush. I just feel it works better with the corners for me. And then I go in and I'm going to use my dark color now. This one. This one. And on this one, I prefer dragging it a little bit more on top of my eyelid. If you feel like you're putting some on your lashes, it's fine. Then your mascara will set on your lashes, so it's fine. Not to say you should color your lashes, no. But if you're putting some, it's okay. It's not a train smash. Remember, we still have to blend, so we know we're near. Okay. Our blending brush, you can use the same blending brush you used. Just make sure you swipe it or you shave it first. So basically what I do is with a tissue, anything, I normally use a cloth, as you can see. I just do this on my cloth. Make sure it's dry. You don't want a wet cloth because then your whole brush will then be wet. I also rub it on my hands just to check if it's got any more color on it. If it doesn't, then we go down to the job. Now I'm dragging it inwards because remember I've made my V and I feel it's fine so I'm just doing it inwards. Drag your color inwards. Okay, so this is natural. I like this. It does define my eyes. So we are done. Kidding, guys, we're not done. 
try and get rid as much of many as lines as you possibly can the the aim is not for you to have lines it's just for your makeup to look flawless okay so just blend it a bit to the side okay so i think my natural eyes because we're not trying to look like we have something on but this is nice it does define my eyes i'm good i'm fine with it now here's another thing guys in the olden days you would now go and put mascara inside your eye and that is now old-fashioned just to be straight that is the old way of doing it now you take the color you were using here the last part and you put it underneath your eyes i'm not going to put it all the way right through to my eyes i'm going to leave it somewhere in here in the middle and then i'll take the gold I, the, the gold color i put on here and drag it just also in the middle let's start with the gold color go back to the gold brush this is why you shouldn't mix colors on your brushes because now you would have another color there so this is what you do just tap there tap 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 Tap, 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 tap. Done. This side, as you can see, my mess had already taken care of that. So I don't have much to do. Okay, I'm fine with that. And then my brush for the corners. Oops, it fell. So, remember, I used this brush because I said it's fine with the corners. I'm going back to my palette. I'm going to get the color that we used last. Try and make it as symmetrical as you possibly can. Okay. And just go again on the sides. Okay, where's my blending brush? Okay, get yourself, if you get makeup on you here, it's fine. Not the end of the world. Okay, now the makeup brush I had to put on my powder. Just to try and clean it up nicely. Okay, so my eyes are done. The colors are basically in. I'm happy with the colors. So what makes your eyes the best eyes looking ever now is your lashes. So let's get some mascara on my lashes. Then you will start seeing the difference. I'm going to use this mascara. It's an M-Way mascara. I love it because you can get different, vo you can get different volumes here. And you can adjust the brush. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. Let me see. You turn it a bit and that's smaller that's much bigger so I like it so I'm gonna start with the small one I'm gonna make it really small let me see if you can see this a mm, little bit I'm gonna start with a small one so this happens where you're gonna make a mistake and smudge yourself it's not the end of the world I'll show if I do that I'll show you how to get rid of it if I don't I'll just show you anyway
Oh, wow. There we go. Awesome. So if you make a mistake like this, just put mascara on myself. Just leave it. It will dry. And then after it dries off, you take it out. I'll show you how to do it. Because if you touch it when it's wet, <laughs> like one of my other fellow students used to say in our class, game over. Like it's really game over, guys. If you touch that thing when it's wet. So let's leave it. My lashes are not as I don't I don't have lashes at all. So those are my natural ones and they are small shame. Guys. I do notice that there are people with beautiful and big lashes out there. Like my son. And I envy him. I don't know why God God, God would give men beautiful lashes, but hey, I've noticed that they actually have with some lashes stay big and here we are doing our best every day to try and have lashes so that's it for now let's do the under eye i like this actually maybe i should make it my birth mark there's another problem there I'm sure you can see as soon as you put mascara your eyes start opening up okay let's remove that and then I'm gonna make it bigger actually now let's get a cute tip I always have these around when I'm doing my makeup so this is the Q-tip I'm gonna use. Just gonna. I hope it's dry now. Gone. My makeup brush. My powder brush. If you're using cream makeup, you go back to your brush. Might need a smaller brush. Okay. Problem solved. I'm still gonna put some juicy we see, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Back to the mascara again. Don't make the same mistake now. Okay, now I've made it bigger. So I just want to open them up a little bit. thing that I don't like So that's how I would do my eyes, or that's how I do my eyes. I'm done. Except uh, when I'm not being so careful, it goes much, much quicker. But 
yeah that's that's basically how what or how I do my eyes on a, a daily yeah so that's nice so you can see the V here if you've made quite a bit of mess or new eyes what I love about the natural look if you're really keeping it really natural then you don't make a lot of mistakes or you don't have much to clean up there's another way you can clean up if you've made a mess there let me just show you so my makeup is liquid so with a q-tip again or a small small brush I go and dab it on my makeup and how it clean is just this is what I would do to clean up if I needed to just showing you remember I said I loved a V so I just keep on to a V I like doing my makeup simple guys don't like it complicated so now we need to blend that in with a brick brush if you trust yourself if you don't trust yourself guys just use a small brush try to make sure it doesn't touch anywhere and then um, there we go so your eyes are done completely I'm gonna do lips now I'm gonna make a different video and then we just do the lips to go with this natural look